this man only to describe how rich he was. The Bible says he dined sumptuously every day. I will tell you that I dined sumptuously on my birthday. But this man dined sumptuously the other 364 days. He ate like that every day. Sumptuously, it means lavishly, it means extravagantly. This man wanted for He was rich, the Bible says. He was fully resourced. And, it, and we are not to chide him. We are not to get on his case because of what he had. The Bible is not concerned with what he had. The Bible is concerned with the state of his heart. So let's look into his heart, please. The Bible calls him a rich man. Meaning that he himself was sufficient. And any time you think that you are sufficient, in and of yourself, your heart has a problem with God. Remember, please, that this rich man was in type a Pharisee, but he is also a type of you and I, right? Because uh, we went to college. And we have earned degrees, many of us, and and I'm not chiding you for your degree, and I'm not angry with you or getting mad at you or want other people to hate you for it. I'm trying to expose a condition in the heart. So let me preach. We have earned degrees, and we are we are us. Uh, we are satisfied with our six-figure salaries, and some of us are married to people who are making six figures. Understand? And so what do we need God for? We have medical insurance. Uh, we don't have to pray. We have our doctors. We, we, what do we need God for in a courtroom? We can afford the best lawyer in town. We are self-sufficient. What do I need with God? When I've got everything myself. Generosity, ladies and gentlemen, is the marker of a grateful heart. When you can look at somebody that needs help and want to help them and, and receive nothing in return, it probably means that you realize how blessed you are. It probably means that God has been so good to you that when you see somebody else that needs some help, God has been too good to me for me to hold on to that God has blessed me with to myself. I've got to give some of it away. I've got to give some of my talent away. I've got to give some of my time away. I've got to give some of my finances away. I've got to let some of this blessing that God has given to me out to somebody else because I'm just so great. That 
is the Aramaic equivalent of the Hebrew name Eleazar. And the name Eleazar means help from God. In other words, he may have suffered all of his life, but he did not curse the Lord because his name was God is going to help me. God is my helper. God is my strengthener. God is going to be merciful to me. I may be suffering now, but that has nothing to do with my relationship with God because God is merciful. You remember the 91st Psalm, don't you? Right next to, right about verse number 3, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. He is my God. In Him will I trust. And when you say that, your name is Lazarus. The Lord is helping me. Enough suffering will put words in your mouth that you didn't intend for them to come out. That's right now. 